Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to study gas laws. The first question is telling us that a gas has a volume of 20 cubic centimeters at 27 degrees Celsius and normal atmospheric pressure. Calculate the new volume of the gas if it is heated to 54 degrees Celsius at the same temperature. So here we can see at the same temperature, meaning that at the same pressure, sorry, which means that pressure is constant. And when pressure is constant, then volume is being related with the temperature. The law which does that is the Charles law. And according to the Charles law, volume 1 divided by temperature 1 is always equal to volume 2 out of temperature 2. So in this case, we have temperature 1, okay, the first volume, 20, divided by the first temperature, which has to be changed to the Kelvin scale. So 27 plus 273, giving us 300. This is equal to the volume, which is not known, but it is heated to 54. So 54 plus 273, so that we may change it to the Kelvin scale, 327. So to remain with V2, then we have to multiply 20 by 327. Then we divide by 300. So that the new volume will be 21.8, sorry, cubic centimeters. 21.8 cubic centimeters will be the second volume. Since temperature is increasing, volume has to increase according to Charles' law. Then in the second part, the figure below shows a setup that may be used to verify one of the gas laws. One of the gas laws. So we have a bottom gauge here. A bottom gauge measures pressure. And instead of this, you can sometimes find a pressure gauge in the experiment. Pressure gauge. So these are instruments which can be used alternatively. So in case you see pressure gauge or bottom gauge, they are all measuring pressure. Then again, we have a thermometer here. We have a thermometer here. So when we see pressure gauge, it's for measuring pressure. When we see a thermometer, it's for measuring temperature. So now, when we are told that in the first question, to state the law being measured or being investigated, this law is the law that relates pressure and temperature. And it is none other than the pressure law and pressure law which states that because we are taught to state it states that pressure of a fixed mass of a gas pressure of a fixed mass of a gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature directly proportional to absolute temperature provided volume is constant. So provided volume is constant, then temperature and pressure are directly proportional. Then from this experiment, we are being told to state the measurements that may be taken in the experiment. So the measurements which are supposed to be taken from this experiment are one temperature from the thermometer temperature from thermometer and again we also have to measure corresponding values so it should be temperatures and corresponding values values of pressure after some time we confirm what the temperature is and also we check the corresponding value of pressure so that we tabulate the results tabulate the results temperature against pressure temperature and the corresponding pressure then again we are told explain how the measurement in one above may be used to verify the law 
So how can temperature, which has been recorded, against pressure be used to verify the pressure law? Because we've already mentioned that it is pressure law. So what we do here is, <clears throat> we plot, we plot pressure against temperature pressure against temperature so when pressure is plotted against the temperature <clears throat> if we get a straight line a straight line through the origin shows that pressure is directly proportional to temperature so in case we plot the graph of pressure against the temperature, pressure against the temperature, pressure against the temperature, and we obtain a straight line through the origin, then this will mean that pressure and temperature are directly proportional. Hence, pressure law verified. as pressure law verified so by confirming that they are directly proportional that is from the straight line then we will have confirmed con confirmed that pressure law has been satisfied or verified by this experiment thank you for following kindly subscribe and share